I'm joined today by Ian Lawson, CEO of Severfield. Ian, thank you for joining us. In 2013, Severfield set a target of raising group margins to between 5 to 6% by financial year 2016. Do you think the company is on track to meet this target? We, we set about two and a half years ago the 5 to 6% margin. Um, at the half year results, we feel we're well on the way towards that. And in six months' time, I hope we'll be in a position that we'll be declaring margins of between 5 to 6%. Most of this margin improvement has occurred without any real improvement in markets. How do you think this positions Severfield to benefit from better market conditions in the future? Well, I think we've seen that there will be a potential improvement in our margins going forward. And over the medium term, we've suggested that we think we can get to margins of between 8 to 10%. But we'll generate those additional margins through working uh, more effectively within our own businesses, particularly both in our factories and also effectively out on site. But we'll also see that there will be some margin improvement from the market as more opportunities come through. Over the last year, Severfield has taken a couple of strategic steps, those being the hire of expertise in the bridge sector and investment in supply chain partner CMF. Could you explain what each of these steps brings to the company? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, we felt over a period that th there was going to be some very good opportunities in the infrastructure market. That's been further confirmed by the government's commitment um, in the autumn statement for £100 billion to be spent in the life of this parliament on infrastructure improvements across the country. And therefore, some time ago, we took on the expertise of Maybe Bridge, who were closing their business. And we took on a number of project managers and designers. This has now strengthened our own uh, bridge building team. And we now see that that's a good opportunity for us to go forward. With respect to CMF, this takes us, uh, CMF make a product that we are continually asked to supply and fix on many of our schemes and therefore we thought it was better to uh, buy into a business like that that we could further develop and self-supply to ourselves. Which sectors do you believe will offer the greatest opportunities for Severfield in the short, medium and longer terms? Well certainly, as I mentioned earlier, the infrastructure sector we think is going to be uh, deliver some huge opportunities for us. Not only is there the major national improvements to both the highways and also to the rail network in the UK, but there'll be larger infrastructure projects such as HS2 and Crossrail 2 coming on stream in due course. In terms of other areas, uh, power and energy is also another sector where we believe that particularly uh, the development of the nuclear power stations and also other power stations is going to provide us with good opportunities. In the Indian joint venture, underlying margins look healthy and the overall financial performance is stabilised now. What do you think will be the catalyst for this business moving on to make a consistent profit contribution to the group? For it to make consistent profit opportunities, what we're going to need to see is an improvement uh, in the Indian economy. Uh, the current government has uh, promised to invest in infrastructure in the country, but as yet, um, whilst they've been in power now for the last 18 months, we've not yet seen this come through. I think also coupled with that, the government are also looking to encourage international investment into the country and I think when we see both of those coming then I think that will provide us with more opportunities from which we can hopefully benefit. Apart from the clear headline financial progress, what were the most pleasing aspects of the half year results from management's perspective? Well the results were very pleasing as you say, but I think if I take that to one side, the cultural we're going through a bit of cultural change, uh, we've implemented a behavioural safety uh, training culture into our business. Everybody in the business is going through that, and I've got to say that the uptake across all the business has been very, very pleasing, uh, with people really buying into it. So hopefully we will uh, really reap the benefits of that in the coming years.